Hogwarts Legacy Part 7 Welcome back people, welcome back to another part And um, yeah, if you watched the last episode, which you can catch if you click up there We uh, attained the broom So um, yeah, we are now going to head to Hogsmeade to buy our own broom And then um, yeah, travel should be a lot more interesting and fun from now on people So, I'm ready to dive straight in If you are, I am Let's go Oh. All right, so we want to go and get a broom. So let's go to the map, Hogsmeade map. So we are back at Hogsmeade, people. Welcome back. And um, yeah, we are ready to uh, get our new broom. So um, let's go and peruse the wares. Where's the entrance? Right on the other side, isn't it? Oh, sorry, love. Chopping over the bench. Hey. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Ah, oh, it is. And what have you got for me? I'll take you. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, spoiling me. Rebellion. Okay, Spint Witch's sporting needs, run by the amiable Albie Weeks. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. His accent's I a bit muddled. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, so it's trying to do arrows, Cockney, but really bad. too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Uh, do, do, do. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Uh -huh. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening uh -huh. hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Okay, any information extra you about sharing brooms? more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every hmm. detail of so every model. See. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I yeah, cherish running nice to see a man shop. passionate about his work. All right, let's have a look Sounds at what you got. The array of brooms. I'll have my a first round. broom. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Um, uh, see what it looks like. That item is of the highest quality. Oh, gosh, that looks good. More plain. That item is of the highest quality. Mm. Not for me. That looks pretty nice. That item is of the highest quality. Oh, gosh. Uh, for me, I think it's the Ember Dash broom. I mean, look at that. Uh, looks like a shotgun or a rifle or something. <laughs> it's got burning, the burning brush at the end as well of the broom. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll take this. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some Tell ideas more. for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need Sign is someone me up. to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. 
An ideal situation for collecting for us. statistics. Come on. You know, if you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yeah, I'm down for that. Um, how did your passion for brooms begin? Why am I not to this? You took Madame Kagawa's class. How old is this guy? If you took Kagawa's class. How long has Kagawa been teaching? But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me United. And I find a certain Puddlemere satisfaction Cannon. in winning over the naysayers who think I'm maybe too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That's sweet. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Hey, friends Go and family discount. Pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. All right. Permitted from flying, no flying icon. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm pumped, people. I'm very excited. Ah, help but Let's go and try out the Ember Dash. Hey, hey. Alright, people, let's go. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright, we'll fly around the town. So let's go hey, up here. Can I turn left now? Let's get some real speed on here. Look at this, people. Oh, yeah. Let's dive. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at Hogwarts as well. I mean, you know, you could play GTA and, you know, Elder Scrolls and other games like that, but there's no game where you can be flying a broom around. <laughs> it's different gravy, that is. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Honestly, I can't wait for Quidditch. If they make a sequel, I know they've got to include Quidditch. That'd be so cool. We could have proper teams, upgrade your kit, you know, have a proper league. Ah, oh, it'd be so cool. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this, people. Drop a like if you're enjoying the broom. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Ember Dash. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Because we're going to keep playing this game. I'm telling you that much. All right, I think we're nearly at our destination. So hey you, cool. Ravenclaw. S smooth as well. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught when you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Mm, it took me on a tour, actually. It was really nice of him, but yeah, fair enough. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Hey, Slytherin competition. Captain, jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, hmm. now people think bumbling you're bumbling baboon, but I'm better than you, so... I can't be having that. Perhaps I am Let's get to it. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. What's Slytherin got to do being good at flying a broom? Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. <sighs> talking and hold pants. one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Well, it's just talking challenge me instantly. All right, let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh, she don't know me well. Bless her. It's adorable. Woo! Right, let's go, people. This is rather fun. <laughs> we. -na 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 -na. Oh, look at this! Talk about skill. Success. 
Oh, Mr. Glass Bits, I have to use my pace. Alright, people, we're on target still. Chin's amazing. Come on. Oh. It's hard to fly at high speeds, I'm telling you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh damn it, Brown's on a roll. Run for it, Marty. Oh, a sharp turn. Sorry, I missed one. Oh yeah. If she beat that, then fair enough. She's just too good. That was nearly flawless. Stunning. No penalties either. So she says. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Uh, I did. Fine. You won. Skipped a few of them. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely no. my win means something. Yeah. Hold something. You're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Just beat your record. What? Uh, uh, I don't want your respect. Shut up, you. I don't want respect from the likes of you. Yeah. All you do is insult people. <laughs> Just put you people and everyone down. else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much anyway. tougher challenge. Uh, you can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check to. in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. Mm. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albert. I don't care about anyone else. I just want to beat you. As long as I beat a squad, I don't care. Um, let's see the leaderboard. How much did I beat her by? Mm. Wow, 220. Oh, she's I suspect week. Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Oh, who's Ruby? 132. Beast. All right, people. Um, let's go back to Albie Weeks. Ooh. There could be you're, many reasons. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Of course, Albie, my friend. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, oh he was swooshing. Mm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? <laughs> I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers mm, are forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Me. That's an LB. LB. Address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. Nice. All right, people. I think we've uh, oh, we've leveled up. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, 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 people. You know what that is? Ha, uh, no what the heck? Thieves. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. <laughs> There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Mate, you're lying for your teeth. Well, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? <laughs> I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir, we'd never take more than those. <laughs> Run for it, Marty. They'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. That was a bit harsh. Oh, he just stole from the guy. Revelio. Zonko's joke shop, frequented by regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike. Zonko's is a place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. That's kind of a look. Didn't even know that joke shop existed. What the? There's a money around. Oh. Oh. Damn. That'd make Christmas a lot easier, wouldn't it? What's this? Woohee! 
Oh, is he all right? Oh wow! Oh, naughty little shot. What's this bewildering kind of mystery? Oh, jeez, fucking shit me up. All right. Jump scare in a can. What's this? Don't push. Oh, why'd you tempt me? We're gonna push, ain't we? See ya. What the hell did I do? Did I just blow someone up? Oops. Sorry. Oh. So, um, I want to do some side quests in the school. There are loads outside the school as well, but I want to start inside the school, get to know students a bit more, and um, uncover some bits and pieces, people. So, I hope you're excited. Let's go and see what the students of Hogwarts are up to. Alright, there's one here. Oh, what am I missing? Um, let me help you. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and That's I do, second choice. an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something Ooh, more to this. Ooh, a mystery. Have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. Oh, wow. But I'm not sure what to do next. Hmm, Lumos, okay. Are there so any just the other one? empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> so I've been Lumos. racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if Lumos. you stumble on something illuminating. That spot must be a clue. I should look around yeah. in case it's nearby. There's a staircase. Oh, I remember that. That was the guy. Um, is it Garmy? <clears throat> or Smarmy? It was the guy that, um, apparently that spell that makes the person you cast it on your best friend. Um, I think it's down here, isn't he? Yeah, what was his name? This looks like the location from the painting. Is it Garmy or Smarmy? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, Moths are attracted to the light. I get it. Huh. Alright, let's take you back to the picture. Take you back home. Ha! <laughs> I knew there, there was go. a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Now? Oh, you get a full page out of it. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Where is she? Oh, she's right there. She probably saw me do it. <laughs> Go and let her know. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'll tell her. I'm not going to keep it a secret. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. Hey, Natty. So is Meat. Although he does Meat's tend to over explain. Well. well, I'm glad someone figured it out. I like him, he's chatty. It's good. The moth! I should have seen that. It's easy. Don't be too hard on yourself. You had half of it. Just need the other half, that's all. Alright, people. Let's uh, find the next one. I think there was another one. Is it somewhere close by? Okay, is that Cressida? Oh, it's kind of Cressida. Is everything Gryffindor. right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Myself. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Hmm. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Oh, 
That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. <laughs> but where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect mm. the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Uh, I'll have a go. Why not? Um, well, did Arm... He didn't. Did I make grass on her? Nah. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot okay. of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Okay. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not no. fall into the wrong hands. No. If you can and helpful. bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Let's get another butchers in the library. Well, oh. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Yeah, what am I doing? Got it. Only four more to go. What am I invisible for? What am I doing? One minute, what am I doing? Not Expelliarmus. Alright. Alright, there we go. Running around invisible. Right, where's her books? Oh. This must another. be Cressida's diary. I'd want Today this back too if day. I were her. That is until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flyers. I had to empty my entire cord and start all over again. He is such a menace. I think he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. Yeah, he's the one who asked me to steal something from the professor's office. I'm utterly convinced if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now, probably. Arbor of Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Mm -hmm. Not really diary, it's more of a day to day. What you been up to? I think the rest are upstairs, people. So let's jog. No! Hey! Get away from me. Just have a little look if there is any more. Oh, it's like Dumbledore a bit. Oh, as far as staircase gives you a bit of a, a, bit, a bit dizzy. All right, Cressida, I've got your books and your diary. Cheer up, girl. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Mmm, I ain't gonna be a dick. There's no need. You are. Well, let's no, learn. Say anything important, I certainly anyway. won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Mm, that'd be a good start. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Yeah, hey, I had a sneaky read though. Relief to finally have an Nice. Revelio. Hiss off peeves. I don't like that dude, he's bloody annoying. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Oh wow. That's cool.
Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. You didn't do anything. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. This place is just a magical door. With what is this is place? Books flying around. This is the room of requirement. Well, this is this is the room of requirement. Real need of it. Ordinarily, a student Rebellion. might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom, your first yeah, day. Yeah, Deke. Come on, we remember Deke. The Rebellion. Found There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco. Mm -hmm. The vanishing spell. New spell. You Come on. Professor Weasley. To vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. Oh, damn, that's pretty cool. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Evanesca. Let's go. I do like the way you learn spells. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. And first off, let's. Excellent work. Oh wow, that's You'll so cool. That you are now in possession of Just the moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. I wonder where they go. Let's move on. Moonstone, we've been collecting it. I don't know what it does. Where Revelli. in Merlin's name is that elf? Where's that? Is that goodness? I waited for you My here ages. Perhaps you're assigned a few more I inches apart. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, okay. Professor. I'll go ahead. Oh, dear oh, wow. Me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Eh. Uh. Wee. Even a school. It's pretty dope. Okay, let's just as hard as I can do it. Akio. Let's climb like it's in Assassin's Creed. Oh. Revelio. Levioso. Keep using the wrong ones because I keep changing the spell set. Alright, people. I hope this isn't I as hope, precarious as it looks. I hope you're enjoying this, people. The room of a requirement. Oh, wow. pile of tin. <laughs> That's so cool. I just fell apart. It offended the room, thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. You stink. Revelio. Gotta wash that dirty ass. Hmm. The one don't work. Use an X. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Flying away. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? <laughs> oh. 
What was that? What is that? Was Moth that a golden oh. snitch? Oh, is it? Oh, that's sick. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> uh. Rebellion. Where am I trying to go with this? Oh, sick. Don't mind if I do. Alright, what's in here? I guess you have to kind of pull it close enough and glitch it. Either way, we searched it, people. Oh, wow. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Scanning up here. It's three candles leading the way. There he is, Deep Queen. Throwing shit at me as I come in. <laughs> See? Yikes! Yeah. Careful. Yeah, he's literally trying to throw shit in. Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, how long, would you how long be so house kind? elves of live? Of course, Professor Weasley. I'd be interested. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on Deke, any map. boy. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> That's good. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will cool. do the rest. Earthquake. Whoa. That is so cool. This last room is imagined. You've given nice. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items ah. of clothing. So that's why we had those items with question marks the on it. Effects of anything in which one is clothed. Use of magical properties on that identified gear. Okay. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Sweet. I imagine the desk well, in this will room. come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuration. Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh man, another spell. I'm on a roll.
Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients. Can we get some holes made. I think we did. To conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find them go, familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Sorry. Yeah, we'll use it for a para. Okay, small scientific botanical, elliptic, and gothic. Mm. That's what they look like on a. That's pretty cool. Oh, they looks really cool. Oh, scientific looks so bizarre. You go scientific because there's books and stuff, looks a bit more like you're learning. Alright, I don't want to put this. a bit more plain Jane that's pretty cool gothic does look good I think I like this one more all the tools are underneath and it's got like a big area of you know, do all your plants. So, uh, yeah. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. It's pretty cool. Look at our own little room. I like it, people. Do not our own little slice of Hogwarts. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts Bobby's longer than I have, and seems to know wow. its every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Wow. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce oh, wow. that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Okay, so you could do it outside the school then, I'm guessing? I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Oh, I know what up. Yeah, I'll do 
ఉంది Transfigurations. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Some. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully I'm sure I've got outside a lot. of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. That's Why cool. don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh wow. Okay. Then I don't Okay. That one can go over here. It's like a herbology. What's up, Dick? So cool. Pictures. Gazing wizard, dapper wizard, bickering couple portrait. Gazing house elves, a mistress portrait. There's some baby portrait. Have a dapper wizard. Oh, wow. Gazing wizard, Niffler and witch. So a big thing. Huh. Why not? See in. Oh, that is nice. Be sitting down to be planting. They're standing up, so you don't need nothing. No table. What's this? Statues. Oh, they're a bit cool. What's this? Seasonal decorations. Oh. This is really cool, people. I'm really enjoying this. Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? Actually, oh, I right. don't think I have any questions. I'm here. What's there to do? do? Conjure wall decorations. 
Watch, there's be two more. Uh, more decorations. Four an hour. Some more paintings, two more paintings. Good work. Shall we move on? Hey. Oh, done. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Whoa. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Wow. You can this change the colors, further, patterns, further. and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, okay. shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. That's cool. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell oh, cool. to customize it. Let's uh, uh. customize his lamp. Oh wow. So you can keep the colour and change the look of it. That's so cool. Lumos. Just the size of an arm. Change the color of an arm. How do I do that? Can't change the color. Hmm, it stays the same color, doesn't it? Change a color or something. Lumos. You can't change the color. What color? Or what? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a nice color. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Balcony or the floor of the room. That's the balcony. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Yeah. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, so cool. don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Hmm. Yeah. 
Magic are we talking, Deke? What powerful Professor spells Wilson are you got? I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Ambience. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um, cool moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I'd like something natural and earthy. Focus person is dark and mysterious. Oh, moonlit I would sounds like nice. The room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, sounds perfect. Oh, that's so cool. That is nice. I like that. Now that's more like it. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full this of possibilities. This is going to be so cool Indeed. what you can do with this room. No Can't matter wait, how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh, wow. These boats flying. Oh. Whoa. This whole place just for me. Oh, wow. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out for Good. definite. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. That's so cool. Hey, when we come back, we shall be uh, attacking some more side quests in and out of the school, um, as they are interesting. And um, I'd just love to get into know the characters more, the world more, and you know maybe find out some stories about what's happened around and in and out of the school. So it'd be pretty cool, people. But this was a very chilled episode, um, but I think it was incredible because we've got this own, our very own space to build customize create things i mean this is this is incredible i can't wait to find more uh, spell crafts so we can create truly unique items and really make it feel like our own so with that people i've uh, hope you've enjoyed this room of requirement big quest that we've done and um if you've enjoyed it drop that like people it's always appreciated leave a comment i always reply to them and nice to see your point of view and um yeah subscribe there will be more of this content on the way people um so yeah until next time to so all my peeps and peepets as always peace <laughs>